so good and I, we need you to help us to sing this morning and we know that you can sing these songs that we're going to sing today because he's been so good. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. If you're by your head, close your eyes and say a word of prayer. Father God, we bless you this morning. We honor you with our, with our praise today, Lord Jesus, for being a holy and mighty and majestic God. Lord, we just honor you today. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see another day, to take another breath, to walk and just do as you see fit and, and do what needs to be done today. Lord, we ask you, hope, let your Holy Spirit come in and take control of today's service, Lord. Allow us to just fall fresh on all of us, Lord. Father God, we, are, we just want you to just have your way in this house tonight, today, Lord. Father, we ask you to just touch Pastor Grace. Continue to bless him and keep him, Lord. Continue to pour into him so that he can pour the word out to us. Lord, continue to touch Sister Grace, Lord. Continue to bless her and keep her, Father. Continue to protect her and God, Lord. Father God, we ask you to touch Reverend Thomas and Deacon Thomas, Lord. Continue to bless them and keep them, Lord. Continue to pour into their lives, Lord. We ask you to touch every sick member that's not here today or the ones that are sick that are here today, Lord. We ask you to touch them and touch their bodies and their minds and their spirits and their souls, Lord. Father God, we ask you to just bless New Beginning Church of Christ. Allow us to just walk by faith and not by sight, Lord Jesus. Allow us to just come under your authority, Father, to do as you see fit in our lives, Lord. Let us not fight against what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives, Lord. Let us be obedient unto you. Lord, we ask that you just touch the musicians, Lord. Continue to bless them. Allow the anointing to fall fresh upon them, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask that you touch the praise team. Allow us to sing with uplifted voices with the power and the authority you've given unto us, Lord. Father, we ask you to touch those ushers who are standing at the door, warmly greeting everyone in, saying, you're welcome. And because we don't know who's coming into the house, who's seeking a word, who's seeking to know that I, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. I know that I'm going to come through this. A smile can do so much, Lord. Father, we ask that you touch this congregation who came to praise and worship you today. We ask you to continue to keep them and protect them, Lord. We want to just praise you, Lord. We just honor you with our praise today. In your righteous holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. How many know that God is everything to you? He's your, he's your master. He's your savior. He's your provider. He's your healer. He's Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. He's El Shaddai. My God, God is all that and more. I tell you, you can't beat him no matter how you try. If you know him to be everything to you, just sing with us and we want to have a good time in the name of the Lord today.
No, there's folks that don't have shelter uh, upon which to under to lay. That don't have a bed to lay down in and on, rather. There are people that are struggling and suffering going through right now. I remember Monday hearing uh, uh, the mayor of Fort Valley say that, that she witnessed people during this time of the year living on the bridges. I wish I had a witness in here today. Uh, living on the bridges, not having a place to call home. But I believe that everybody in here right now got somewhere that they can call home and you ought to be on your feet right now. Thank God for that place that he's given unto you. That you can call home today. Uh, I want to ask everyone to stand. Would you please? God has blessed us in a mighty way. And I don't know if you know it or not, but just in case you don't, I'm going to say to you today that you are blessed. God, we come in Jesus' name to say thank you for all of the wonderful blessings that you have bestowed upon us. I come, I, we come to say thank you, God, for giving us the mind to know that there is a God that sits high and looks low. There's a God that, that, that makes ways out of no way, build bridges over troubled waters, open doors that can no man open and close doors. Uh, clothes but him. Yeah. We there's a God that 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 look beyond our faults and yeah. see our needs yeah. and blesses us anyhow. Yeah. God, we want to say thank you this morning yeah. because all of us got up this morning clothed in our right mind. Yeah. We had come into the house of prayer to worship you and praise you one more time, and we yeah. say thank you. Yeah. God, we ask now that you bless this worship service with your presence, with your anointing, with your Holy Spirit. Yeah. We ask you to bless.
Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind received their sight, and the lame walk, the leopard are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Thank you for the reading of God's word. Amen. come forth to bring forth uh, our tithes and offers as commanded by God. Um, let, us, let us answer one question before we start. Who is your God? Do you know your God? If you say you love him, you worship him, and all that, then you should know who your God is. Mm -hmm. There are two spirits that rule over God from the beginning of time gave. He's a giving God. The other fellow, as we know, Satan is a taker. God tells us that his, his only purpose is to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. So, knowing who your God is, then there should be no difficulty in you giving but when we come on Sunday morning, this is what we're talking about, giving back to God, some of what he's given to us. Mm -hmm. If it is your love and devotion to God, so much love, then it should be no problem for you to come forward and give all that you have. Because no matter what you got, you ain't got enough to pay for what mm -hmm. God did for you. Mm -hmm. Being a giver as God has been, even before time, his first act toward man was that he gave. He gave him the breath of life. Mm -hmm. And throughout the Bible, he continued to give. And there came a point where he gave the greatest gift of all, his son Jesus, for payment for our sins. He paid the price for our sins. And he's still giving us today. And what he's given us today, he's given us preachers and teachers and evangelists. He share with us the word that he has sent forth for us. And we have a chance, he's giving us another chance. Mm -hmm. We know not how long this world is going to stand. We do know that it's going to end. That's right. We know that. So with that in mind, you know something is going to happen. You need to be preparing yourself That's right. for it. And no, it, it says no man knows when the Son of Man will come. It could be the next 30 seconds or the next hour or next year or whenever. But what all we have is right now. And I imagine sometimes somebody asks, why do every Sunday morning, you know, there's someone that is talking, you know, about giving and all of this. Uh, I don't believe Reverend Grace would have us to not do this because there may be one that come through that door that don't know. And I don't believe he would want him to leave, he or she to leave here not knowing. So he's always going to have someone standing here to tell you about what God said about giving, mm -hmm. about tithes and offerings. Now we've heard all about what Malachi said, mm -hmm. you know, and in, and in Malachi said, if you rob God, you're cursed with a curse. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be cursed with a curse because all you have is not yours. It all belongs to you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And if you should take it away, where would you be? <laughs> Let this mind be in you that nowhere on this earth is anyone going to do for you what God has already done. Not even to think of what you asking him to do for you. Mm -hmm. But he's a God of his word. And he will answer prayers. That's right. We need to just give God thanks and praise for everything, every day. Before we begin to bring out forth our tithes, now let us stand for a word of prayer, please. <laughs> Our Father and our God, Lord, we come to you with bow down heads. 
Lord, preferably hearts, Lord, that are truly freely willing to give to you. Knowing, Lord, that what we have, Lord, can't go no further than we are. But, Lord, through your grace and your mercy, Lord, we can reach out beyond the walls of this church and touch and help someone else. For we know, Lord, that you will supply our every need because you said you would. Father God, bless those that are here right now. Mm -hmm. No matter what their mind or their thought was about whatever they have in their position right now, let them think out loud, it's not mine, it's yours, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I'll give it back to you. For I know that you give me more than I'm able to give. And as we do this, let us give God thanks and praise with a joyful heart and spirit. And thank you for just blessing me to be able to give this. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask everything. Amen. Amen. The ushers were great, but they make everybody proud.